The 2023 WASH 100 roster has been finalized, with Department of Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin topping this year's list. Lieutenant General Robert Skinner, director of the Defense Information Systems Agency and WASH 100 award winner, said he regards artificial intelligence as one of today's most disruptive technologies that could be used to gain strategic advantage in industry and government. Echelon, a small business focusing on technology commercialization, has secured a contract to provide a cybersecurity platform to the Department of Defense. General Paul Nakasone, commander of U.S. Cyber Command and a 2023 WASH 100 awardee, revealed that persistent engagement is Cybercom's strategic approach to operate in a challenging strategic environment. Microsoft's Digital Threat Analysis Center has revealed that Iranian state actors are employing cyber-enabled influence operations to boost cyber attacks and achieve greater geopolitical impact. The State Department has approved a potential $110 million foreign military sale of the Naval Strike Missile Coastal Defense System and related equipment to the government of Latvia. The U.S. Marine Corps has tested the data transmission capabilities of the Department of Defense's next-generation satellite communication system for the MQ-25 Stingray aerial refueling drone using the U-1Y Venom helicopter. The White House said it will stop implementing COVID-19 vaccination requirements for federal contractors and employees and foreign air travelers on May 11. 2023 Defense Software Modernization Forum on June 7, 2023 visit executivebiz.com slash events. The U.S. Navy achieved initial operating capability for the Mine Countermeasures Mission Package and ANAQS-20 sonar mine detection sets installed on its littoral combat ships. Eric Goldstein, Executive Assistant Director for Cybersecurity at CISA, recently laid out four steps small and medium businesses should take to protect their organizations from ransomware attacks and improve their cybersecurity posture. The first being the need for SMB leaders to discuss cybersecurity with direct reports.